So guys, we're going to continue learning about GDP. And in this video, we're going to talk about what is the difference between real and nominal GDP. So we know that GDP, it represents the total income of everybody in the economy or total expenditure of everybody in the economy. Either you use an expenditure or income approach, um, you know, those numbers are kind of supposed to be the same. Uh, we also talk about that um, when economists look at GDP, they break it down to different components. Remember, like consumption, investment, government spending, and net exports. And looking at those components separately, they can analyze uh, what is going on in the economy better. And um, or they can analyze better what is going on in the economy. And also what economists do, they um, calculate real and nominal GDP. And when we calculate nominal GDP, we're taking into consideration current prices. So if we calculate GDP, for example, for year 2019, we're going to use prices of goods and services for that year, for year 2019. So therefore, nominal GDP is not corrected for inflation. When we calculate real GDP, we're going to choose a certain base year and we're going to use prices of the base year when we calculate GDP. So therefore, real GDP is corrected for inflation. So, guys, why do we calculate this real GDP when we keep in prices constant of a base year? Because when we going to take inflatory effect out of the picture, then we understand better how much more goods and services we produce taking into consideration the number of units that we produce more or less in our economy for, for the year that we calculate GDP. So we're going to choose some kind of base year and keep prices of that base year. But when we calculate GDP and we see if GDP, for example, increased, we know that GDP increased only because we produce more goods and services in the economy. We produced more units. We're going to look at the real GDP and we're going to say, well, you know what, GDP increased not because our prices were increasing and therefore GDP um, increase. But when we're looking at real GDP, we're looking if GDP has increased, it means that we produced more goods and services in the economy. Remember, um, economists, they're all the time looking at production. If we produce more goods and services in the economy, quantity-wise, it means that the economy is growing. It, it's, it's all the time a positive thing for the economy. So therefore, real GDP is exactly going to help us to look at that. Anyway, we're going to look at the example and it's going to be uh, much easier for you, um, you know, to understand. So let's suppose here's our example. We have um, a very simple economy. In our economy, we produce only um, two goods, pizza and latte. And um, we have prices and quantity, you know, over the course of three, these three years. What are we going to do first? Let me see. We're going to calculate nominal GDP. Remember, nominal GDP, it's easy to calculate. So, for example, for year 2014, we calculate nominal GDP. What do we do? We just take the price of the current year. Remember, this is what we talked about in the previous um, uh, slide. And we're going to multiply it by the current quantity of our of our pizza. Then for the second product, we're going to take current price of the product and current quantity, multiply, add them up, and that's going to be our GDP. So uh, for year 2018, our very simple economy produced pizzas. The price of each pizza was $10. We produced 400 of them. And then we also produce in our very simple economy some lattes. Uh, the price of lattes was actually $2. And we produced 1,000 of them. So therefore, if we're going um, to calculate that, then our GDP for year 2014 is going to be exactly even to $6,000. $6, Keep going. For year 2015, what is going to change? Well, what are we going to do? We're going to take current prices. So we're going to take prices for year 2015 and quantities for year 2015. For the second product, we're also going to take prices for year 2015 and quantity for year 2015. Remember, nominal GDP, we're keeping our prices current. What does it mean? If you calculate GDP for year 2015, you need to take prices for year 2015. So really quick, what do we have over here? The price of pizza was $11. We produced 500, 500 of these um, pizzas, and the price of um, 
latte was actually two hundred uh, two dollars and fifty cents, and we produce eleven hundred lattes. So if we go going to calculate that, then our GDP is going to be eight thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. So here you go. GDP has actually increased from year two thousand fifteen to fifteen fourteen. From year fourteen to fifteen, our GDP has actually increased. Okay, guys. Since this is nominal GDP, since this is nominal GDP, if you're looking at this increase, okay, of our GDP from year to year, okay, increase, I'm sorry, of our GDP from year to year, what contribute to that increase? Okay, and you can say it's either prices or quantities or actually both, isn't it? Because once again, we take into consideration current prices, current quantities, okay? All of them might change, and this all can contribute to increasing our GDP. So, and the last year, 2016, our GDP, once again, guys, if before I even calculate this GDP, Looking at these prices and looking at these quantities, what is going to happen with GDP in the year 2016? Yes, it's going to increase, isn't it? Because we have higher prices and we have actually higher quantities. What contribute to that increase? Looking at the table, we know prices and quantities contribute to that increase, isn't it? So therefore, we have $12 for pizza and we produce more units, 600 units, plus we have $3 for our latte and we um, produce 12, 1,200 units for our latte. If we want to calculate it, it's going to be 10800 dollars and this is GB, gdp for year 2016 okay so now again i'm going to ask you a question let's suppose that you're economist and you're not looking at all this you know you're not looking at all this table you don't have this table in front of you you have just these calculations in front of you and you are analyzing nominal gdp you see that gdp is actually increasing from year to year i'm going to ask you what contribute to this increase and you can say either prices or quantities or both, isn't it? It can be prices and quantities or both together. So sometimes maybe quantities can stay the same, but price of the product can increase by so much that GDP is actually going to increase, isn't it? Or prices of the product, is it is it a possibility where the prices of the product increasing so much, but we're producing lower quantities? But the prices increase so much that GDP has actually still still increased. Can this be a possibility? And the answer is yes. So therefore, if you look in just at this table and you know this is nominal GDP, what contribute to that? Prices or quantities, or most likely it's going to be both. Next one. So this is the calculation they're shown over here. So now we're going to look at this table and we're going to calculate real GDP and it's actually given to us that the base year is going to be year 2014. So our base year 2014 is going to be kind of our benchmark. Okay, it's going to be our benchmark and we need to calculate this real GDP. So let's do it all together for year 2014. For the base year, it's all the time easy real gdp what do we do remember we take prices of a base year this is our base year this is the price of pizza and this is the price of latte this is what we're going to use so we have ten dollars oops ten dollars multiplied by 400 plus the price of latte was two dollars multiplied by 1000 so therefore our gdp is actually going to be six thousand dollars isn't it what can we notice here that in base year in a base year real gdp and nominal gdp they actually going to be equal because once again we're using these prices that are actually the same so next one gdp for year 2015 remember we're talking about real gdp now we need to pay attention because remember, when we calculate real GDP, we have to keep the prices constant over base year. We choose year 2014 as our base year. Therefore, I'm going to say, or I'm going to write down here that this is $10. I'm going to put a little apostrophe over here. This is year 2014 price. Multiply by our current quantity. Our current quantity is 500. 
So year 2015 GDP, real GDP. Therefore, we take current quantities, but we take prices of a base year. So I'm going to continue, multiply by 500. Okay, really quick, I'm going to give you three seconds to think how we're going to kind of write down our latte value um, of real GDP for year 2000, 2015. So remember, we need to keep prices constant, isn't it? So therefore, the price is going to be here of year um, of year 2014. I'm going to put a little apostrophe. This is year 2014 prices multiply by quantities of our current year. And our current year is year 2015 by 1100. Whoops, should have probably been a different pen. And therefore, if we want to calculate this, this is going to be 7200. Okay, so it's going to be 72, I believe, hundred dollars. That's our real GDP for year 2015. Guys, I'm going to indicate here also a little bit. I'm going to put apostrophe. This is 2015 quantity and this is 2015 quantity, but prices of a base year. And the last one, year 2016 real GDP. Hopefully you're going to be ahead of me. You can pause this video and calculate it on its or on your own and see if you can, we're going to come up with the same um, numbers. So once again, we start with the pizza. Since it's real GDP, we're keeping price constant. Therefore, the price is going to be $10. We're going to multiply it. Remember, that's year 2014 price. We're going to multiply it by quantity of the current year. Current year quantity is 600 for pizza. So we multiply by 600. I'm going to put over here that this is year 2016 quantity. And then we need to add, okay, the value of our lattes. Remember, since it's real GDP, we're keeping the price of our base year. It's going to be $2. And we're going to multiply it by current quantity current quantity for latte is 1200 okay so and probably i should have indicated so this is the price of 16 and this is the i mean the quantity of 16 i'm sorry and this is the price of year 2014 so and i'm not sure which pen to use but um if we're going to calculate it it's going to be exactly 84 8400 dollars that's our gdp now I'm going to ask the same question. Let's suppose you're an economist and you're analyzing this GDP. You know this is real GDP and the only information that you have in front of you is this. You don't have the table. You don't have the table with all these prices and all these you know, quantities and stuff like that. So you see that real GDP has increased from year 2014 to year 2016. My question is what contribute to this increase? And the answer is going to be quantity produced. So we can say that from year 2014 to year 2015, we produce in more goods and services. From year 2015 to year 2016, we produce in more goods and services. We took this inflatory effect out of the picture because we kept prices constant. We didn't take 11 or 12. We all the time we're taking prices over base year. That was our benchmark. And since GDP actually grew, okay, over the course of this year, um, years, it means that um, GDP has increased because we produce more units. We produce more units in our economy. Our output has actually increased. Okay, so now they're showing you those calculations. Let's see what we have. Um, on the other slide. So pretty much um, this is what it's saying, um, you know, showing nominal GDP. Remember, we took into consideration changes in prices and quantities, and you see how nominal GDP actually grew at a faster rate, isn't it? Because once again, we took into consideration those prices, but then real GDP was increasing, but it was increasing by smaller amounts, isn't it? Because we took only into consideration the change in units produced. So therefore, it says over here, they remind you again that nominal GDP using current prices versus real GDP using constant prices. And in this situation, 
it was um, um, you know this year 2000 2014 so they calculated kind of the percentage change you see that for nominal GDP you know percentage change between GDP is higher than for real GDP so therefore I think there's yes something else um, so change in real GDP is the amount the GDP would change if the prices were constant okay so inflation effect is taken out of the picture over here okay there is no inflatory effect this GDP increased only because we produced more quantities in our economy